Hey everybody, Corey. So I'll give you a complete walkthrough of the uh, Wii Roll Gladiator that I purchased back in um, early October. Picked it up towards the end of March during all our great pandemic, COVID, who knows what it really going on type of deal. But I gave some brief walkthroughs during the build. This is the first real camping expedition I've gotten to go out on. But so here it is. So what I did, if you remember from the previous videos, if you have or have not seen it, I'll kind of briefly go over it again. But I got a bench all the way across here. It's 24 inches deep. So you can see the two cushions. I sewed all these cushions myself. The gray cushion over there will pop up on the other side and act as a backrest and the bottom piece will slide underneath so you can have a couch. You can switch the cushions to the other side and face either way. Um, right now we've got pretty decent weather so we don't have to worry about sticking it out in here for a rainstorm or anything like that. Got this lagoon table, articulating table, spins with just a piece of 1 by 12 by 24 popular hardwood. Then here I got these brackets with this nice cutting board that I screwed into it, screwed it into the frame of the door here and it will go up and down. It's kind of acting as our kitchen shelf right now. So I got this Albacool cooler. It's kind of a budget refrigerator uh, compared to the Dometic or some of the other brands but I'm not sure about it yet. It keeps giving me an F1 error code. And last night I had to hook it up to the little Honda inverter that I got with us. Um, but the inverter ran out of gas and I plugged it back into the battery and it's worked since. So it's the second time that I've had issues with it, but into the 110 volt outlet, it works just fine. So I don't know, mixed reviews on that. I uh, got the Titan RV fan here in the window, so I ran the wire up here, hooked it up to the 12 volt continuous power. This is the ARB awning light LED strip, which is right here. Connects up to that controller in the front where you see the green light in front of the iPad. Then I have another little USB fan up there to help move more air. Uh, summer gets pretty hot, but it was pretty cool in here last night. I think the outside air temperature was uh, 80 degrees, 78, 80 degrees, and it was pretty cool in here. We got two awnings on both sides, eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. Then I got the awning room. Uh, I can have the door open up into it. The dogs sleep in here. Little kitchen area. I'm just using the shelf here or the wheel well as a shelf but we'll see if you can see here so you see how it's slatted each slat will slide into itself giving you that couch l-shaped couch formation this whole section will slide to the other side so you can have it face out this door so some people have asked about this shelf here and what i did is i used the one by 12 one inch by 12 inch by the width of the door here had to cut for the angle of this and then I took a one by 10, I believe this was a one by 10. And I just put a screw in here, a screw in up here, cut out this piece here for the accessories. And then I put a aluminum channel in to run the wires up to that nifty gadget here. So off, here the fan went off on turn the accessory on over there this fan becomes available at the outside lights maybe you'll be able to read it some gear hammocks usually used on boats but dual purpose them for this in here um, then i screwed this top piece into here it's a pretty snug fit pretty sturdy i don't know probably get about 60 or 75 pounds on it before it becomes an issue Put this little accessory panel in over here with a little tiny shelf on the top. Just for some extra uses, gives your battery power. Another 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. And USB ports. Massive sound system in here. And uh, moving on over. Just 
found this stove on Amazon. It's not bad. I think I'm gonna need to fabricate a wind windscreen of some kind for the windy days to keep the heat going where it needs to go. But little bathroom tent over there or changing room, whatever we wanna use it for. We'll see how the heat does today, but we got some good shade. I use the Dokio solar panel here, 100 watts. Use it once just in testing. Then I've got a Duracell 27 group, or group 27 battery, which from my research does 80 to about 100 amp hours, depending on the manufacturer. 30, group 31 does a little bit higher, group 24 does a little bit lower. And there's the charging and discharging chainsaw but over here at devil's backbone campground with all the breweries and all the hikes into the uh off the blue ridge trail got pretty good deals on these eight and a half foot awnings found the manufacturer get them for about 190 200 dollars pretty good deal that's it. The dogs for you.